I'm gonna turn this note from Notebook LM into a captivating graphic in just a few clicks. Watch how easy this is. I just click on this little icon, I open up Napkin AI, paste it in, scroll over, click this little icon, and bam, we have this graphic, we have a bunch of different graphics we can choose from here. We can adjust the style, the colors, the font, etc. If you're looking to clearly communicate the insights you come up with inside of Notebook LM, there's no better way to do that than visually, and there's no better tool to do that than Napkin AI. They're not a sponsor of this video, I'm just a huge fan of this product. And today I wanna to share with you a bunch of different ways that you can use Notebook LM along with Napkin AI to clearly visualize and clearly communicate complex ideas. But it can also be really useful in your personal life for event planning, goal tracking, and a lot more. A picture is really worth a thousand words, and if you can get someone to immediately understand the complex ideas you're generating in Notebook LM, you can get into alignment much faster and achieve a lot more. Let's go. All right, if you're new to Notebook LM, I've created a bunch of other videos walking you through it, but basically you just go to notebooklm.google. Uh, you've got to jump through some hoops maybe on your admin section to get set up. Here are all your sources. You can add all kinds of sources. You can upload files, pull things from your drive, different links and copy and paste text in. So this is where you add your sources. And then on this side, these are all the different notes and things that you create with the chat. This notebook guide is super helpful and you can generate your uh, podcasts here. I go into that in depth in my last video. I'll link to that now. This first use case, I want to show you how to use Notebook LM along with Napkin to create some really cool visuals for a uh, sales proposal. So in this source is a long transcript of a call between a sales rep and a prospective customer going back and forth about a potential project. So I still believe the easiest way to transcribe calls is just right inside of Zoom. You can set it up to automatically record and automatically transcribe. You want that full transcription, not a summary. I've had a lot of problems with different summarizers. Just grab that transcript script, drop it into uh, Notebook LM. And now we're going to focus it just on this source by clicking this checkbox. It's going to say, can you take the info from this call and give me everything I need to create a detailed sales proposal? And it has taken all of that and pulled everything we need in for a detailed sales proposal. I'm going to click this and copy it right into Napkin AI. This is what it looks like when you jump in here and don't be fooled by this small text box. You can put everything from that whole response right in here. Click enter and it is gonna clean all that up, flesh it out a little bit and we will be able to start generating some uh, images here very soon. So you can see as I'm scrolling over, this little lightning bolt is jumping up everywhere. Let's hover over this, click this little electric uh, lightning bolt and see what it comes up with for these key milestones. We've got all these dates here. It's going to give us a bunch of different options for how we want to view this. I like this one because it has those dates intact, but you can see there are all different ways to format this. Um, some are going to make a lot more sense than others. That little you know, potential Gantt chart type thing is interesting, but I think for this one, I like this style because it has the dates and it has exactly what uh, is happening on each date. And from there, it pulls you into different styles, uh, different ways of looking at that. Let's see, this one's pretty cool here. I'm gonna select that. And then you can get even more granular, diving in here, picking out, maybe you don't like that icon, it's got some other options for you. Um, you can adjust all of the dates, the colors. There's a ton you can do here. You can add a piece in, you can start to drag and drop things around and, and make these, um, you know, exactly how you want them. So that's a pretty cool graphic that outlines exactly what's going to happen when it's going to happen into your sales deck. Let's look at this. These are the phases and timelines. So just to give a feel for how long each phase is going to take, it'd be cool to have a little bar graph here so people can clearly see how long each phase is going to take. Seeing this stuff visually is really, really helpful so that prospective client can start to think, okay, this is, you know, this is the part that's going to take the longest. Obviously, they can read that, but it doesn't sink in like visual uh, representations do. 
So now what do we do with this? We want to create a deck. I like to use Canva, but a lot of people use uh, PowerPoint or uh, the Google Slides. So I'm hopping into Canva here, create a design. I'm going to be creating a presentation right there. I'm going to grab this um, template here and it's got all sorts of different slides. Here's our project timeline slide. I'm going to grab all of this. I'm going to hit this little download button. PNG is good. Dark mode is good because I'm on a dark background, turning the background off, turning the resolution up, just copying this to the clipboard and dropping this right in. Boom. There you have it. Adjust it so it looks good. And now I'm grabbing this same thing. I'm going to copy and paste this in as well. And just like that, we've created some image heavy uh, slides and you can go down just like this. These are all basically broken out into perfect little slides. Here's another one. If we want to do budget, you can get a feel for how the costs break down. So with just a couple prompts and a couple clicks, we've translated that conversation into slides with awesome graphics. All right. So let's say that that project closes. Now, the next use case I want to go through is this project planning phase. So this is a transcript of an internal meeting where everyone's discussing this project with the internal team. So this has a bunch of different stakeholders here talking about, you know, this new project. And I've just gone ahead and all I prompted it here was said, hey, can you create a detailed project plan for the team? And it generated this project plan. We're going to drop that right into Napkin AI. Going up here to new napkin. I'm clicking on this little electric lightning bolt here. And I'm copying and pasting everything from that detailed project plan right in here. And we've got a detailed project plan here with all of the different steps, but it's got all these phases kind of separated. And I want to create a graph that maps out all of these dates. So I've gone back into Notebook LM and I've said, great, can you just return a simple list of the phases and dates? I'm going to copy this in, drop that right in here. Click this little lightning bolt and get all of our internal dates. Now this is for our internal team. This is all the things that our internal team needs to deal with by their specific dates. And you can go through each phase here and generate an image for what needs to happen at phase one. These are all of the different types of graphs you can pick. Look, it has created a, you know, a nice icon for the solar panels. These are all bespoke icons in here that it's generating on the fly. You can adjust those however you want. Maybe there's a different icon you want to use in there. You know, it's pulled up one here for solar power, etc. And now I want to share this with the team. Let's create a link here. Copy this link. And now we've got a link that we can refer to at all of our future meetings. We can pull this up and say, hey, are we tracking to this timeline here? This is available to everyone. You can share this with the client. You can update this as you go forward. So as you go forward, you can say this is the internal editable one. Not everybody can edit it, but you can say, OK, this is complete now. The public facing one says complete. So you can have a clear dashboard of what is happening here that you can share internally or externally. You can do the same thing for a pitch deck. I've got a source here. I pulled in a bunch of different information about a pitch deck. This is the funding ask. Let's turn this into a graph here. Perfect. Look at that with the nice logos and everything. And there you go. That slide took all of less than a minute. You can obviously finesse some of the fonts, etc., get it to work a little bit better. Next, I want to show you how to use a ton of information to create the ultimate onboarding process. But before that, if you're new to the Blazing Zebra channel, I want to welcome you and thank you for joining me on my mission of helping entrepreneurs and business leaders learn practical, actionable AI use cases, not just lists of features and functions of yet another AI product, but things that you can put to work immediately. If you're getting something out of these videos, please consider checking out my Patreon. I've got a detailed cheat sheet for every single video that I've ever made. These are copy and paste blueprints that you can put to work immediately that you can share with your team. There's over a hundred of them there instantly available to anybody that joins my Patreon. I've also got some coaching options in there as well. You're going to love this next use case. This is a way to build very comprehensive step-by-step -step internal processes for anything that you're trying to 
do. For this, I went to Claude and I asked, what are the four best books for small businesses who are looking to onboard new employees quickly? And it pulled together this E-Myth Revisited, The Culture Code, uh, The First 90 Days, and The Lean Startup. So I grabbed these on Amazon. I converted them into uh, PDFs. I just simply asked it, can you please take the best of these resources and build the ultimate onboarding process for a small business? It's taking a second here and it gives us a ton. We're just gonna copy and paste this like we've been doing right here into Napkin. And here it is, the ultimate onboarding process. So it has scoped all of this stuff out and I've gone through and just created these diagrams that shows you all the different steps so people can instantly understand what you're getting at here. Let's do another one for relationship building. I like this one a lot, look at that. This shows you how to build these different relationships and kind of maps out the importance of that. Team management, let's do another one here. Evaluating your team, building your team, developing your team. This could be an interesting one here, the three pillars. I like this pyramid a lot, and look at that. Obviously, you can edit the heck out of this, share it, post it. You can download it as a PDF so that you now have that onboarding guide completely ready, built from the world's best sources on the topic. And one thing you might wanna do is add in your own onboarding plan or some unique nuances about your business. Add that in as a source and redo that so that you're pulling from all of these sources and applying it to your specific onboarding plan and then push it into Napkin AI so that you can generate that visually appealing, instantly understandable document that you can distribute amongst your team. As usual, I hope you got a ton out of this video. I've got a cheat sheet version of this video and over a hundred other cheat sheets that are all instantly available to anybody who supports me on Patreon. This cheat sheet in particular, I went to town on. There was a bunch of use cases for Napkin AI that I couldn't fit into this video. So go ahead and check that out. There's a link in the description. You can use these cheat sheets to uh, share them with your team and start to systematize how you use AI in your organization. I've also got some coaching options in there as well. If you haven't subscribed to Blazing Zebra, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on, give me a thumbs up, and let me know what you're working on in the comments. What can I help you with? Otherwise, I will see you on the next video. Take my dream, come through.